right, today we're going to talk about the operation of the spectrophotometers. You'll be using this in your labs, so I want to go over, we have two different types of spectrophotometers. We have your Spectromaster and your Spectronic 20 Plus. Each one is done a little differently, so I want to go over it and show you how to perform the operations and a function test to make sure that it is working properly. The first thing we do is to turn on both machines and let them sit for at least 20 minutes. This one over here is your Spectronic 20 Plus. Both of these instruments will do the same thing. They are run just a little differently. For the Spectro Spectronic 20 Plus, you turn this on by turning the 0% butt knob to the right. That will turn the machine on. All right, now for the Spectronic 20 Plus, it is set up a little differently. The wonderful thing about this machine is your instructions are right on the machine itself. Here, again, I said that it was set up a little differently. We will place the blank in at a different time frame than what we did with the Spectro Master. For this one, you turn it up, warm up for 15 minutes. Then we're going to set our wavelength. So again, let's set for 420. So you take this knob here, it says wavelength on it, and you're going to turn it until it comes to the 420 mark. Sometimes you need to get almost right on top of it to be able to see that 420. You will adjust it until it gets to the 420 line. The next thing I need to do is select the filter position. For the Spectronic 20 Plus, the filter is on the bottom here, on the left-hand side. You can see you have a filter at 340 to 599 or 600 to 950 nanometers. We're doing it at 420, so it is set. But if I needed to move it, I can move it back. Once I've set my filter at the proper position, the next step is to set my 0% transmission. I do that with this knob that says 0% transmission. And again, my goal is to set it at transmission, zero transmission. Now this machine, you will notice that the percent transmission is on the top and the absorbance is on the bottom. This is opposite from the other machine, so make sure you understand the differences between these two machines. So to set the zero percent transmission, I'm going to turn this knob until the pointer comes to zero. And again, my percent transmission is at the top with the Spectronic 20 plus. The next step is to actually insert my blank. Again, I need to wipe fingerprints clean of the tube, open my sample compartment door, place my sample in, and close the lid. The next step on this set of the Spectronic 20 plus is to set my percent transmission. I do that with this knob here and I will turn it until it hits 100%. Alright, once I've set my zero and my 100% transmission with the blanks, I need to take the blank out and place it back into the compartment. And again, just like with the Spectromaster, I'm going to actually check the function of this spectrophotometer with my 420 concentrations. I have different sets of concentrations for this. It's 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, and 1.0. I will take my 0.25, wipe my fingerprints off, place it in the compartment, and take my reading. On this one, again, my absorbance is on the bottom, and this is 0.14. If I come to my sheet, I can see my 0.2 concentration should be between 0.149 and 0.215, which it falls within that range. Next, I'm going to take my 0.5 concentration, wipe the fingerprints off, and place it in the sample compartment. Close the door and take my reading. All right, as you can see, my 0.5 is running at 0.32. If you come back to our chart, it should run between 0.409 and 0.310, which it's within range. 
I'll take out my 0 .50, place it back in the box, and pick up my 0 .75 concentration, white fingerprints clean, place in the sample compartment, close the lid, and take a reading. All right, now you can see that on my 0.75 concentration, the reading is 0.49. If I come back down to my chart, my 0.75 should be between 0 .5, 0 0.456 to 0.602, so it's within range as well. I open the lid, place my 0.75 back in the box, pick up my 0.1 or 1.0 concentration, white fingerprints, place it in the compartment, close the door, and take a reading. If you'll notice, the reading on this is 0.66, which means it is within our range. If you come back down, our 1.0 concentration should be between 0.602 to 0.824. I've completed the 420. Now it's your turn to do the 520 function test and the 670 function test. Good luck.